two windows made of glass. One is black. One is clear. One window shows me elsewhere. The other shows me here. One window illuminates a world seemingly gone mad. Spectacles of hatred and everything that's bad. The other instills calmness with clouds up in the sky. Green grass with dandelions and songbirds flying by. The first window is bright, but the light is artificial. The second one is lit by none other than the sun. The first window is selling things and telling me they're beneficial. Window two has far less for sale than does window one. The first window shows me people who lie and steal and cheat. The second one has children riding bicycles down the street. The first window has programs and channels to peruse, and lots and lots of opinions masquerading as the news. Information from the second indicates that there is a breeze by the leaves there gently swaying on the branches of my trees. Oh, what would be if window one were here no more? Would stories revert to verbal like they were in days of yore? Would the pace of life slow down? Would attention spans increase? And what about the rate of crimes? Would their quantity decrease? Perhaps that day will never come. So all I can do is ponder while I glance outside the second one, which inspires me to wander and get to know the world I'm in, the domain in which I dwell, the one that I feel warmth in, the one that I can smell. Window one can be fun, but it also likes to steal my time and my emotions and my sense of what is real. Window two is just a window, and it's clearer when it's clean. Better to fix one's eyes on nature than to fixate on the screen.